My name is Hannah and I'm a second year student midwife at UEA. Um, I always wanted to do a caring profession um, and I looked into nursing and it, it just didn't sit right with me so I had a look into midwifery care. I'd never been exposed to it before being the youngest child in the family and not having any children of my own and I looked into it and I just fell in love. I thought what a fantastic opportunity to help women in such a vital time of their life. I just, I really did fall in love with midwifery. I live about four hours away, that's, that's home for me. But, um, so I applied all over the country to multiple different unis and um, my mum was originally from Norfolk um, so we kind of came here on a bit of a whim and um, we sat in the talk for midwifery and just the passion of the, the lecturers and the fact that you got to do a lot of practical work compared to other universities, I just thought this is definitely for me, I, I really did think wow I'm, I should come to UEA. Something that's really stood out to me is the amount of support that you get. This is a very intense course, so, you know, support is vital. And I've not only got professional support from my lecturers and my mentors, but because our midwifery course is so small, um, that you do become a bit like family with your course mates, that like your peers are there for you no matter what. You're going through the same things at the same time. Some can shed, you know, more, more light on experiences. And, and you learn from it together. That's, it's brilliant just having the support of your peers and, and your lecturers. I've only delivered seven babies so far, but I'm proud of, of each delivery that I've managed to facilitate. It's, it's been fantastic. Um, one which was just brilliant was um, a young girl telling me she couldn't, she couldn't do it anymore. She was in the final stages of labour and she just couldn't do it anymore. And um, it was when she lifted her baby out of the water um, it was just fantastic. The whole room was in tears just because, you know, I'd given her that support and, and afterwards she really thanked me because she says I, I really didn't want to do it anymore and the whole room was just in tears and I was very proud of myself for being able to support someone like that but I was incredibly proud of her. It was really, really lovely. A massive challenge actually that I overcame when I, I moved here from Derbyshire was I was very homesick and I've overcome that through purely the support that I have received. I was very, very lucky to live in a lovely flat on campus with, with brilliant people. Um, on my course I had, you know, same-minded girls, it was really nice and my lecturers, they knew that I was homesick and they gave me all the support I could possibly wish for. Um, and I think as well it helped that I knew that I was doing something I loved. It, it, I really did want to do it. My family and friends at home were also supportive and it made going home special. Um, but yeah, living in Norfolk has, has been brilliant. It's just very flat. Uh, if I could give one piece of advice, it would be go for it. Don't let anyone tell you you can't do it. I had a lot of friends that said, actually, you might, you might as well go for nursing. There's more spaces. and I just didn't feel that, that passionate about it. So I'm really, really pleased that I actually went forward and, and achieved this and, and I'm studying to be a midwife and it's brilliant. I can't wait.